chopstick fight was really great action mixed with comedy, mixed with character. I actually feel like there was a period of time where it came out of the movie for a while because um, we were really struggling with the training section of the film. We were trying to figure out what's an original way of doing training, what's the, the Kung Fu Panda way to train our guy. You can create a sequence that's very, very good and functions quite well in a movie, but the, the question you really have to ask yourself is, this sequence can only be in this movie. It can't be in any other movie that you could go see. How do we get to that level? After you, Panda. Just like that? No sit-ups? No, 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 no 10-mile hike? I vowed to train you, and you have been trained. You are free to eat. The direction was, Po has to learn Kung Fu, and so we sent him on this training montage. And uh, initially it was just a lot of shots of him doing push-ups and sit-ups and Kung Fu forms and fighting against Shifu. Along the way, I just felt that it needed a climax. It needed like a big moment at the end. So Shifu set out this bowl of dumplings and they had a fight. I said you are free to eat. Have a dumpling. Hey! In most um, action scenes, or most uh, kung fu-centric scenes, we don't often have scripts for those. It's visual storytelling and action. So there wasn't a script, it was just created in boards. I love that shot with the, the dumpling. Just get impaled on the tree and it just slowly slides off. <laughs> The reason why it's so aha satisfying is you have these two characters just button heads for the entirety of the movie trying to solve a problem that they can't solve. And this is the moment where the first time they get success. It's also the first time you get to see kind of pofu, or panda fu because it's something that's very different from what has come before as far as Kung Fu, right? And it's the first time we really get to see uh, Kung Fu Panda doing Kung Fu Panda stuff. 